Me how in the poor families, Mrs. Bennett here. Well, we were very excited last week to welcome your children back to in-person learning. Although we know lots of great stuff happened while they were learning at home, it was exciting to have everyone back in the building. We've made a little video to show you what's been going on over the last couple of weeks. Enjoy! Throughout the months of April and May, students were focusing on learning about the environment. There was class discussions about ways that they can help Mother Earth, they read stories, they did different artwork, different projects. Please listen to this grade four student as she shares something that she learned. Sasha, why do we celebrate Earth Day? I think we celebrate Earth Day because it makes people think of what they are doing to the Earth and what they could do better. What are some things that you could do to help the environment? The things that I can do to help the environment is first off, stop using plastic bags. Plastic bags take up to 500 years to decompose or forever to decompose. Another thing I can do is, start, is to start sorting out my recyclables to the things that you can compost to the things that are actually garbage. A glass bottle takes 1 million years to decompose, so reuse your glass water bottles. I can also go to a river close by and pick up the trash in the river. Wow, 1 million years! I didn't know that! Thanks for sharing! You know we have tons of talented artists here at Mindapore School. Ask your child what art project they have been involved in lately. Mindapore School is a very exciting place to learn. Students are always involved with technology, working on special projects, and moving their bodies. One thing that we've done over the last month is participated in a virtual residency called Sound Creations. Thank you very much to our school council for sponsoring this event. Students learn different hip-hop dances through the company of Sound Creations. Many students reported that they had tons of fun and really enjoyed this program. this week was amazing and Mindapore students spent lots of time learning outside. Our kindergarten students went to our community garden where they did some sketching and plant investigation. All of our grade one two students went on a community walk and investigated the difference between living and non-living things. Our grade two three students did some science experiments outside where they tested some boats and buoyancy properties. Our grade five six students spent some time at their sit spots doing some cloud observations and connecting that to the, some story writing. Ask your child what learning they've done outside in the last week. Tristan, tell me about the experiment you were doing the other day. Well, it was, we were testing out how many media blocks could go in a boat. And so those had the most marble, but I mean blocks in it. And so what did you learn to the experiment? Why did Zoe's have the most? Because she had the most you even balance. Start testing, how many do you think it's going to so hold? Balance was really important. What else did you learn? Um, you think that more? Okay. If you have a wider space and a thinner bottom, that it would might it might make it float better. Thank you for sharing, Tristan. This is living, yeah, okay. so that I know the living stuff, okay. and then this, 
I'll write non-living, okay. and then they there will be non-living stuff here. Okay. And I drew a stick on half of a tree. A sun a is a living thing. Of no, Robin not. and Ash. All right, the last two weeks at Mindapore School have been fantastic, and we're excited to see what June will bring. Ask your child what they're looking forward to for the last month of school. Take care.